Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Valentino. It's Womo, born in Roma, Yellow Dream. Now, this is a scent that I did first impressions on when it first came out, and uh, I didn't really love it. You know, I wasn't into it too much. Reminded me of uh, Stronger With You from Emporio Armani, and I felt like it was kind of uninspired, you know? Valentino Womo born in Roma. That one smells similar to Paco Rabanne's Invictus. Then they come out with Yellow Dream and it smells similar to Stronger With You. So it was like, what's the deal here? Like Valentino is just going around copying other fragrance brands, popular scents like, okay. Which to be fair, I guess, you know, Valentino Womo and Valentino Womo Intense smelled a little bit similar to uh, Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense. So I guess to a small extent, you could say Valentino has been doing this for a minute with their Womo line. But yeah, that's a quick rundown of how I approached Yellow Dream with my first impressions. The first time I smelled it, I was kind of off put a little bit by that. That's that's how I viewed the fragrance. And quite a bit of time has passed since that video. So I figure now let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more in depth now that I've been able to spend some more time with it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's talk about Yellow Dream. And I'll link this one in the description below. It is actually kind of difficult to find at discounters. It seems to sell out with some regularity. So if it's in stock, I'll link it below. You can check it out yourself if you want to. First off though, let's go ahead and take a look at the presentation. So here you have the box. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration there on the front. It's an eau de toilette. You have nothing up top, nothing on the sides. On the back, you have your ingredient information and your barcode. And on the bottom, you will find your badge code. It's printed in ink, so kind of hard to see, black on black. It's 22T00YM. Here we have the bottle done up in that typical Valentino Womo style. You have a Valentino on the front of the bottle there. And this one has a cap that clicks into place. The original Womo bottles did not have a cap. The atomizer was just built into the bottle. You cannot remove the little spike collar. On the original Womo Born in Roma, when that came out, you could, but on this one, you can't. And on the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code. So yeah, they've switched up the presentations with the Valentino Womo bottles a little bit as time has gone on. Uh, they still have this same bottle shape, but they've changed around the atomizer and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and give it a couple sprays. Atomizer is actually really good on this one. <laughs> okay, so as I said, when this first came out, got it in, did first impressions, was unimpressed because of that similarity to Stronger With You. Uh, that being said, as time has gone on, there have been a lot of fragrances that have come out in the designer world that do have a little bit of a Stronger With You flair to them, a little bit of that style. It's a, it's a very popular type of fragrance. So, I mean, kind of is what it is. It's here to stay, at least for right now. So as time has gone on and I have worn this more, what do I think about it? Well, when you first spray this one on, it is immediately a little bit similar to Stronger With You, but it's definitely more of a fresh take on that style of fragrance. So you have pineapple in the opening, it smells really nice, not at all similar to a, an Aventus pineapple, so don't, don't get that in your brain. But a really nice, very pleasant mix of mandarin orange with a very faint green hint around the edge of it with a, a very poppy, bright pineapple mixing together with a good amount of ginger. And as it starts to dry down, it gets a little bit spicier, gets warmer. The ginger starts to kind of mold and morph into gingerbread. So you get this gingerbready, spicy mix along the edge of the scent. And then some sweetness that comes out underneath this vanilla that kind of rises slowly up through the fragrance and uh, really makes it sing during fall and winter time, gives it that, that body, that warmth that you need. And uh, interestingly enough, I feel like Valentina Womo, Born in Roma, Yellow Dream is a better sort of meeting of warm weather and cool weather scents in the style of Stronger With You than Stronger With You Only is, or maybe even Stronger With You Freeze. So it's like Valentino Womo, Born in Roma, Yellow Dream is doing better at making a fragrance in the Stronger With You style that you could potentially use year round than Emporio Armani has done with their own line. Legitimately, Yellow Dream is like a year round take 
on Stronger With You with a fresher opening that slowly as it dries down, takes on more warmth and more spice and becomes more similar to the Stronger With You line. So it pulls off freshness better than Stronger With You only and Stronger With You Freeze, which I actually like a lot. And as it dries down, you get the best parts of the original Stronger With You coming out as well, which makes this one great for year round use any season daytime or nighttime, so the versatility here is through the roof. And yes, I absolutely crapped on this one and didn't even really think about going back and revisiting it, but I'll tell you something that kind of changed my mind and made me want to go back and visit it. And that is, I was speaking to a, a perfumer, uh, an independent perfumer. I don't know if he wants me to give his name, so I won't. And I was talking to him and he was telling me how much he really likes this fragrance and explaining why he really enjoys it and how usable it is, how approachable, how versatile, all this stuff really going on about the, the creaminess of it and how it's just a top notch scent. And I remember thinking to myself like, nah, man, Yellow Dream kind of sucks, it's it's derivative. And then at some point he was just kind of like, well, I mean, there are so many different fragrances out there, you're always going to have overlap in one way or another with something else out there. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, that's actually a, a pretty good point. And so I went back and started to revisit and started to wear it more, especially as it's been cooling down a little bit. I gotta say, a really, really pleasant smelling fragrance. like. This smells good from opening to mid to dry down. The compliment factor is there, the versatility is absolutely there. There's a lot to love about the scent, there really is. The things that you could say are negative about the fragrance are that it, it does have that similarity to Stronger With You, and it absolutely does, it does for sure. So if you're looking for something that you know smells absolutely different from anything else out there, that isn't this, obviously. And then also, if you were a big fan like myself, of the original Valentino Womo fragrances before they started up the Born in Roma stuff, you would say, well, you know, it was way classier back when it was Womo, Womo Intense, Womo Aqua. And I think it was. Uh, Born in Roma with that Invictus-y type feel, the, the perceived cheesiness of the changing of what they were with that line and where they're going with that line, I, you know, it just immediately made me go, nah, I don't want it. And so this comes out, smells similar to Stronger With You, and I'm just like, Phew. but it really has grown on me so much. And uh, I'm not ready to embrace the original Born in Roma. I'm not. I still think that that one's weaker than this one by far. But Yellow Dream is very nice. I'm actually wearing it right now. And that opening captures my attention. And as it dries down, that gingerbread twist to the Stronger With You type DNA with the vanilla that comes in. It's just great in fall. For younger guys up through middle age who are looking for something that you can realistically pull off year round, daytime or nighttime, wear just about anywhere and pull compliments, that is especially fantastic in fall. You gotta check this stuff out, give it a wear. Actually give it a few wears, see how it goes. I still think the name sucks, but <laughs> that's, that's okay, it's not really a big deal. And I know everybody and their mama has brought that up at this point, you know, Yellow Dream. Yeah, it's not good. The only thing that could be worse is if they named it Wet Dream, that would be that would be rougher. But Yellow Dream is it's close. It's close. Oh, and uh, performance. It's good. Lasts a long time. Above average projection is about average, like it's not a monster, but it projects enough and it lasts for a long time on your skin. So, I mean, uh, not too much to, to complain about there either. So there we go, Womo Born in Roma Yellow Dream. I am eating crow. Uh, I don't like this to be fair as much as I do Dior Homme 2020. I like Dior Homme 2020 more, so I'm eating more crow technically on that one. Hmm? But this guy right here came around to it. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. That is Valentino Womo Born in Roma Yellow Dream. Terrible name, but actually fragrance grew on me. Grew on me a lot. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again another day with another video. See you guys later.